What's up guys? So this right here is going to be a video on, I guess, removing the rocker assembly and sort of stripping the head uh, of all of its parts so that we can get just the bare head to send to the machine shop so that it can be resurfaced because I found some rusted areas uh, where the coolant is because I assumed the coolant was never changed in this car so it ended up rusting and 170,000 miles, you know, is pretty high so I assume the coolant was never changed. So we're going to have to have the head machine, so I'm going to go ahead and tear this thing down. Um, I've been reading, I think you want to start right here, cylinder number three. You can actually see the uh, caps right here are labeled one, two, three, four, and five. Um, or something like that, yeah, and six. Uh, so we're going to start uh, over here, which is cylinder number three. And we're going to loosen this bolt right here, and then this bolt right here. Uh, a quarter turn at a time and uh, then after this bolt right here and then after that we're gonna go to cylinder number two I believe and then we're gonna go to cylinder number four and then to cylinder number one and we're just gonna loosen all the bolts and uh, they should or yeah and I guess then the very outermost ones as well and then uh, the whole rocker assembly should lift right out of this thing hopefully So I've already done one, uh, I'm just going to carry on and do the rest of them. It's kind of tough. This might be a good thing to do when the head is still in the car. So guys, finally was able to get it loose. It took a lot of prying and messing with it, but it's finally able to get it loose. Uh, you gotta be careful if you're prying somewhere. You don't want to damage the sealing surface of the of the valve cover. You don't want to damage your cam or anything in there. But after a lot of careful prying, I was able to get all of them. And as long as all of your bolts are out. Your rock arm assembly should come out like that. You can leave all the bolts in place. That way you know where all of them go. You don't have to worry about any of that. And uh, yeah, now here's our camshaft just floating in here. So that's basically it right there. Um, yeah, I'll dwell more into this tomorrow. So it's the following day here and I'm gonna proceed to take this camshaft off. Uh, another thing that I definitely wanna mention is this rock arm assembly right here. I left the bolts in there, uh, one for convenience, but I, I did pull the end one out out of curiosity because I heard not to. So of course, it makes you want to do it. Uh, so I pulled that one out and those springs that you see on those uh, the rocker arm shaft there, those springs are spring loaded. So if you take all these bolts out and then lift the rocker assembly out, this thing's just going to like bling like all over the place and parts are going to go flying. So definitely leave all your bolts in the rocker arm assembly like I did. Glad I followed directions there. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to pop this cam out, find a nice place for it, somewhere clean, free of debris and dust and whatever, even though it's been sitting out open all night. Um, and then I'm going to have a valve spring compressor uh, and I'm going to take these valve springs out and I found a machine shop that'll do the head resurfacing for $66 I got a price for, so not too bad. I'm probably going to have them do that. Uh, I'm probably going to strip everything off of here, um, you know, just so that they get the bare cylinder head. I'll take all these uh, sensors out here and probably take, there's like a uh, plastic cover on this side. I'll take that off. 
but yeah I'm gonna take all the valves out I'll show you guys how I want to do that I think I'm gonna get a piece of cardboard poke holes in it and put all the valves in the corresponding areas that are labeled for each cylinder because you obviously want to put them back where they go because uh, they're mated I'm not getting the valves ground or anything like that I think I'll just clean them up and maybe relap them I'll show you guys that process but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and get started taking this uh, whole head apart a little bit more so I took a few more things off uh, I took that side cover off that I was talking about and now I'm beginning to take the valves and the springs out so what I have here is like a little cardboard cutout here so I know which valves go in what cylinder and which are the intake and which are the exhaust I have it all mapped out here so I can't possibly mess it up um, so when I go to grind the valves or uh, you know wire wheel them I'll know exactly where they go and I won't mess it up so I've already taken out two of the intake valves here or exhaust rather the exhaust are smaller those two are the intake valves on this cylinder which is cylinder number four and those two right there are the exhaust valves and you can see right through there and the springs are off too springs you don't really need to keep them necessarily the same for each cylinder but I'm just keeping them there for safekeeping and I can't hurt to so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how this uh, spring uh, compressor tool works here and uh, how you take the little guide clips out and I'm keeping them in this magnetic tray here so I don't lose them and I have a little magnet to take them out not too hard at all I'll show you so the way this tool works is it has a spot for the actual um, spring to go right here so you just want to put it on there and then this lower part here you adjust it to the right height and then you just put it on your valve and then you just want to make sure that everything's in place and then you just push it down like that and it kind of locks into place you can put it to the side and then right here you have your little um, valve seats and these guys you want to keep in a safe spot and you can see when you're taking these out which way they go on top of the valve but once you take these out then you can go ahead and undo your tool here and the spring will open up like that and you can take your spring off with your uh, little top here push the valve out from the bottom and that is our cylinder number three valve and spring so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in here like this bring it over to our little uh, cardboard cutout put it in place and then you guys can see we have you know the next spring so I'm gonna go through and take all the exhaust springs out and then I'll go through and take all the intake springs out and put it all on there and then I'm gonna go ahead and take off the thermostat housing here and these sensors and then we should be ready to have this head uh, resurfaced So you guys saw me take out all of the exhaust valves and then I went ahead and did all the intake valves as well. So we have all the valves out. Um, you can see all of our areas where the valve seat down in there. Um, looks pretty good honestly for the most part. Um, it looks like all the valves 
Uh, you know, none of them are burned or anything. I would have known because I would have had a misfire most likely, but everything looks pretty good in here. Um, yeah, so I took off that water pipe right there, and I took all my sensors out, engine coolant temperature sensor, and the uh, sender for the coolant gauge in the car. So, yeah, this thing's pretty much ready to be machined. Just gonna take it to the machine shop probably uh, on Monday or something, and uh, yeah, get this thing going. So I think that's gonna be it for this video. Just a quick uh, little cylinder head teardown. Um, gonna take it to the machine shop, get it machined, and uh, and we'll pick back up with the reassembly. I have some other stuff that I still want to do on the car while the uh, you know heads at the machine shop and everything. But yeah, I think I might take the intake off and you know work on that a little bit. And just clean some other things up here. Just get it all ready to go back together. But that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate uh, the support. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'm always uh, interested to help people out. So. Have a good one.